Hey guys, Lynn here. Welcome to part three of our Modern Beach House tutorial. Um, today we're going to be starting on the main house. Hopefully we'll get quite a lot of it done. I can skip ahead some of the parts because they will just be filling in, so there's no point in watching that. But um, while we're building the game, I'm going... The game? What the fuck? Wow, 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 while we're building today, I'm going to be going over a few changes I'm going to be making on my channel over the next few weeks or months. Um, the first thing, which I'm going to tell you right now because I'm going to explain this part here, which you won't have in your build, is a change to the way that I make my build tutorials. And also, I'm going to be making a lot more build tutorials for the fact that I do make a lot of noteblock songs currently. and. Um, I think in the past few weeks or month, the uh, interest in noteblock songs has gone down and the interest in modern builds has gone back up. And uh, so I'm just gonna change and uh, get back to making some more modern builds and making less noteblock songs. Some of you might enjoy that. Some of you might be only here just for noteblock songs, but I do make both. So I will make whatever is most popular. Um, as you can see, I'm using shaders. Uh, I do actually like this shader map because we get this kind of a uh, little box around all of the uh, whatever we're clicked on. I do like that. But anyway, the first change is going to be to the way I'm going to build. It's not guaranteed, but it's just um, something that would make building uh, quicker. I could get more uploads. And that is, rather than explaining me how to build, like we've done so far in this house, you will see the thing is already pre-built, like this. Not the whole house, but just the what I've added since the last build. So for example, this, and I will just explain on how to build it. So I won't actually be building it. I will say, I've built this, and then I will tell you what material it is. So spruce wood slabs, and then I will tell you how big it is and you can build it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And it's one, two, three, four, five. And as you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five kind of slabs with spaces. And it's built from this middle block here. So on this wall, the middle block. And see guys, you could just pause the video there and go and build that. That's all you need, just the dimensions and the material and where to build it. And that saves me a huge amount of time because that would take me, you know, like a minute, two minutes to build and it takes 15 seconds to explain. So that's kind of the uh, one thing I want to do. So I'm not gonna show you guys how to build that. You can go build that right now. That's the first part of this tutorial. Uh, we're gonna get started and I am going to explain a couple of other changes that I want to make on my upcoming videos. It's not changes, it's gonna be different types of video. All right, first thing we're gonna do guys is this uh, kind of wall that goes around a pillar that's gonna come out here. We're gonna make it one further this way. So you can add one onto there and dig out the middle. Okay. And then we're gonna take out some dark root oak planks. You can choose whatever color you want here because it's just gonna be a little bench that's on the outside. I'm just gonna use that. I also have, um, let's see. I might as well just type this in. I have quartz slab for our little table. So right in this corner, you're gonna place slabs that way, or planks that way, then one, two, three, four that way, and then round off. And then you can place in your spruce wood slabs, one, two, three, and one, okay? And then I have quartz slab there for a little table. And then that's just kind of a, to help you figure out where the door is gonna be. So right there, you're gonna place some wool. It's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, and six tall. And you can make that two back the way, like that. And then this is where the door will be. We got rid of this wall in the last one, but I'm actually gonna put that right back. 
because it is kind of a part of the wall for now. We c I will change that. I do. I don't like the way that that looks, but we'll just put it back in for now. And um, from there, you're going to dig out one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And we're going to take out. I think I just have regular slabs here, stone slab. And I also have some plants. I'm going to take out an anvil and oak leaves. I'm actually going to try something different. I've seen someone who was using plant bots. And um, let's see. I can't spell pot. Pot. There we go. A plant pot. And then for the kind of bottom of the plant, they had a cactus. Rather than using an anvil, I'm going to try that something I've never seen before. So it'll be like that. And then you plant your cactus. And then like that. That looks pretty cool actually. It looks kind of a bit like bamboo. Not the, uh, the plant part, just this cactus. So you can do this way guys, or you can just stick with anvils. That will do. And then in between that you can have one, two, three, four stone slabs. That's going to be the step up to your house. All right, and then the inside of the house is going to be made out of wood for the floor, birch wood. You can just get rid of that. So you can just fill in the first line there. Because we won't be filling in the floor, I can just use Minecraft Edit for that, and I will show you at some point. So there we go, the first step into the house. Okay, and then you can put in just slightly back there. And then we need another wall that's going to be the same as that on this side, so we can just fill in that all the way up, so it's even, okay? Now, we're going to take out glass block, and we're going to use the same as... Let's see, have we done the same? No. We're going to use light grey and dark grey. So, light grey, just regular grey. One back from there, so that's why we have this back part. You're going to have a block, and then the different colour, space of two for the door, and then just repeat, a block, a block. I'm actually going to put those opposite so that both the light blocks are on the inside and both the dark are on the outside. Okay, and then you can just fill those up by five. So two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So it should look something like that. And then you can attach the top two blocks like that. Okay, and then I've just got spruce wood going across the bottom of the top blocks of glass. And then on the first two there, first two there, and there we go, that's our door. Okay, and then to go on top of this is just going to be the roof that will cover all of this like that, but we're not going to build that yet. Okay, so that's our door. The next part is going to be here, this is going to be a window. And what we're going to do first is we're going to put on these pillars because on this side, this pillar here, there's one that goes like that, and then there's one like that. This back one is actually part of the window. But like the rest of the build, we're going to be using spruce wood. So take out your spruce wood, and then build up, and just make it the same height as your window right there. So count that, just so you can see. It's one, two, three, four, five, six from the ground. Put in one leave a space and put in another and I will most likely put in glowstone in this down here so I'm going to do that now and that will keep the whole area lit up at night so there's the glowstone the other reason guys I like the uh, shaders I'm using I'll show you what ones I'm using the CUDA shaders it's they're pretty much the same as the Zeus ones but um, they don't have that kind of weird hazy fog that comes with them, which I don't really like. This one, everything's much clearer. 
I do think there are uh, some of the things I don't think are as good, like the water, but it's definitely worth it. Um, anyway, guys, this is just going to stay like that. And now we have to get some window panes. So I'm just going to use the light and dark gray again, that we'll switch to panes rather than block. And then we can just alternate between them, so light, dark, light, dark, light, and dark. And you can fill that all the way to the top. All these will just be the same height. And we are almost finished this entire side. And did I get that right? Perfect. So that's what that looks like there. That's all right. Um, I hope you guys managed to build this part. We will just leave all of this and there's still some decorating to do around here. We will leave all that till later. So now we have to go around to here and we're going to add in a wall here and then this is actually where the stairs in the main house go up to the next floor. Um, I haven't actually decorated the inside of this house and I will probably put some kind of stairs in but the actual main stairs for this house are on the uh, outside. Alright, so now take your white wool and what we're going to do is we're going to enclose this so you can see it's kind of like a circle going right around it and then from the middle here you're going to count along by 15 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 okay and then we're going to repeat that pillars again so we can just rebuild them just the same as we did over there too high like that and put in your spruce wood planks one two three four one two three four five six like that okay and then what we're gonna do is we're just going to build the bottom floor for now and we'll put the top floor on most likely in the next episode but again we're just going to alternate between dark gray and light gray and the glass pane okay so starting from this one we'll go with light all the way up and then right from the bottom there we can go dark all the way up like that and we'll just bring that right along okay and then i can explain guys some of the other things that i'm going to be doing on my channel while i do this okay so like i said i am i'm going to be making more modern builds because the interest in notebook songs has kind of gone down in the past few months and there's definitely been more interest in modern builds so one of the things that i'm going to do is just continue with making builds like this this is kind of like a, a complicated modern house and um i'll just be changing the way that i make the tutorials and that way i think it'll be a bit easier than doing it this way it'll definitely be much quicker which means i can get more builds out because i don't get a lot of spare time and um, the other thing that i want to do is i am going to be making some smaller build tutorials i already have an 8x8 house which i built um a while ago that i'm going to be making a tutorial on obviously that will just be the same style as i'm building this house because it will only take one episode to build it so it doesn't really make a difference if I uh, take longer to make it because it'll just be getting done in one episode including the uh, interior let's see am I still doing this right um, I want to make some more vehicle tutorials um, I have a small fishing boat that I made I think it must have been at least two years ago and for some reason I never ever made a tutorial for it it's actually quite cool looking so I'll definitely be making them. And I have been working recently on my city. And I will add any modern builds that I make into there. I think if I change the way I build, I will most likely be building in the city. Rather than, this is just an empty map. And I'm going to copy and paste this user Minecraft edit into Belterra. 
but in the future I'll most likely just build in Belterra. So that means I will be releasing some uh, update videos for the uh, Belterra. And it'll just probably most likely be a showcase of some of the new stuff and a, a new download of all the new things. Okay? So that's all the uh, kind of builds that I want to do in the near future. There's one other thing that I want to do, but I'm going to explain what we're going to do next here, guys. Okay? Um, for here, you can fill this in because this is the window. This side, as you can see, is not a window because it's on the outside, but this side is on the inside, so this is a window. I'm just going to fill that in with... Um, that would be light, dark, so that would be light. Okay. And then... We will um, most likely wait till we've started the second floor before we build the stairs. They're just going to go here, and they just go up onto the next floor. Okay, so we're just going to turn the corner now and get started on this side. We're going to take our white wool again, and we're just going to kind of repeat this. Pillars here, the bottom is going to be slightly different though. So we can just turn the corner here, like that. You can dig out this middle one, put in your spruce wood pillar all the way up, and we can round that off like that. And then what we're going to do on this bottom part is we're going to bring spruce wood planks all the way from the bottom to the top. You're just going to put in some window into these ones. Um, I will put in glowstone down there as well, like I've been doing. Uh, glowstone. Oops. There we go, I already had it out. Glowstone to keep this all lit up at night. Um, that one will just not be glowstone, obviously, because this is part of a window, so that needs to be closed. Alright, so we've got that. And then we're going to add in some more of these. I'm just going to map out the bottom part. So we're going to put a space of two for windows, and then spruce wood all the way up. And then we're going to repeat that space of two. Space of two, space of two. So you should have one, two, three, four double windows. And then space of one. And then repeat four double windows. So that's one, two, three, and four. Like that. And then we will have another one of these. Because these are kind of like what I'm doing for all the corners of all the windows. So it will be something like that. You can build that up. And then you will have your pillar one, two, three, four, five, six space with glowstone. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. And then this turns a corner, so it's identical down there. One, two, three, four, five, and six. You can fill this white wool all the way up like that and enclose that side there we go that's the same and what we're going to do here is just bring all of these spruce wood planks up to this level and we're going to fill in all of this with window pane I think we will stick with the light grey okay so you could fill that in with uh, yeah, actually this side is on the inside as well, so we can't have glowstone there. And this will have to be just spruce wood. So, light grey. All of this is going to get filled in with light grey. Okay? So you can just do that now. Okay? All the way along. So anyway, guys. The other type of video that I want to make, which is going to be... I'm not sure how many videos I will make of it, but... It's going to be kind of a tips video on how to uh, make modern builds. So obviously I've been making modern builds for two or three years. And um, I have an entire city which I built in modern. It's not... Um, my city doesn't have that much kind of really good modern builds. But um, I've definitely picked up a lot of uh, tips and stuff over the past three years, four years, which I've been building modern. 
So I definitely have a lot of uh, things that some people might not know on how to get kind of a, a good looking modern house. Just um, some basic tips. And uh, I definitely think it will be a good idea. Also, I will most likely make one for different types of houses as well. So we'll have kind of bigger modern houses, smaller modern houses. You can have, uh, there's different things kind of like I do for different sized houses. And then I'll make one for suburban houses. I do have um, some experience building medieval as well. So I will have some tips for medieval houses. I think a lot of them are have the same basic kind of ideas. But there are some helpful things that people might find. So I will definitely do that. I will also have some tips on making, I guess, um, different things other than houses, vehicles. So I definitely think that would be a good idea. Alright guys, I think that will be all we will do in this video. It's already been 27 minutes or so, so I think I think I'll make this a 30 minute video. So all that won't be uh, the full length of the video because I still have to edit this obviously and there's a few things to edit out. And what I'm going to do is, let's see, we need to bring this wall along. I think it's just going to be the same as over there, so we'll count that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So yeah, it is the same as over there. We'll just place in some birchwood because I know that the floor comes out on this side. Over there is white wool, under here is going to be birchwood. So we'll just bring that along, I didn't actually count that. but And then we'll take the same as we've been doing, light grey and then dark, light, dark, light, dark, light, dark, light, dark, light, dark. I'm gonna count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. I was close. And then from there, obviously, we will have another corner because this is going to be slightly different. Now here goes the corner here and then the upper floor kind of is the same as this floor so we will bring that one to the corner. We have to put in our pillars. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like that and we'll keep that as light grey like we've been doing. So we can just fill in all of these all the way up. Okay guys, I um, I haven't been using Minecraft Edit and I know we would be getting much more done if we had Minecraft Edit on this one. But I did want to use this video to explain some of the upcoming things that will be changing on my channel. That's also on top of, um, I do want to play some other games other than Minecraft, but um, I'm not sure when I will get to that so for now it will still be Minecraft but even if I play other games I will still make Minecraft videos because obviously that's what my channel is mostly about is it so all right so we are gonna finish right here um, I'm not sure how many more videos this will be this was a long video so we did get quite a good amount done well, um, that's the next floor is just pretty much the same as all this, so I don't think it will take as long as the bottom floor. Uh, that looks good. Um, on the original build, I don't have these white kind of blocks going around the edge, as I've been doing. I'm not sure why, but I will figure it out for the next one. Okay, guys, so we're going to finish there. Let's take a look at what we built. As you can see. The house is looking pretty good so far. That continues to go down and then along. The next floor goes right across from that building all the way along and to here and then we've got stairs going up there. So it's quite a big house. It's a bit narrow on the inside but it's definitely a good enough space. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in part 4.